if you're like me, love shelling, getting sand between your toes and everything beachy, then hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. Let's get after it. Hi, I'm Beach Bum and Dad. From north or south, we'll share adventures from the beach to <laughs> who knows where. Life is an adventure, so let's experience it together. Remember, if you're like me, love the beach, shelling, and all kinds of adventures, hit that subscribe and the notification button so you don't miss out on any future content. All right, let's shell the first drawer. Now, they're not organized in any particular way when this table replaced the previous table and everyone just put the shells together so it's not like you're going to see the emerald coast drawer or the sanibel drawer but interestingly this first one has quite a few different rough scallops just a really nice assortment of rough scallops in this first one now the other thing too is all of these came from my shelling adventures throughout the state. There's a telling, except for these lion's paws. They were in our, our first shell table. There's a piece of a Genonia. Several Scotch bonnets. This one is a Whopper. Mirix. Like this one needs to be shined up a little bit. This is a Calico Clam. And of course, Spiny Jewel Box. Look at this, little teeny tiny bulk there. Some worm snails, and then quite a few, throughout all the drawers, quite a few pieces of coral, some coral frags. Let's see what else we have in here. Have some flats. There's a pretty big one under here. This is a nice one. Just a, another neat way to display your shells. Look at this. That's a pretty cool Bonnie there. Oh, and at least one bubble in here. The first bubble I ever found came in a shell. I think it was a whelk, and I turned around and looked and there was a, a bubble in it. Shook out a bubble. All right, so in drawer number two, we have a couple of my favorites, the sundial. Now, Having traveled all throughout Florida, beach combing and shelling, the only place I have ever found a sundial is on the Emerald Coast. 
Never found any down south. Let's see if I can get this one. There are a couple yellow scallops in here. Pretty cool. Don't find those too often. Okay, I don't know where the hamburger came from. I have not collected one of those, but that's kind of cool. Another one of my favorites, the gaudy. Quite a few flats in here as well. Another nice whelk, nice color. Shine this up a little bit, put some mineral oil on it, and really bring out those rich tones. Sand dollar, a couple stones, and egg cockle. I think that one is a shark's eye. All right, let's pull it out a little farther without tipping it and look at drawers three and four. All right, drawer three. Baby's ear, another favorite. Really nice ba baby's ear. Pear whelk needs a little bit of oil to bring out those stripes in there. Really nice sand dollar. Generally don't find them like this in the panhandle. Find them in southern Florida, southwestern Florida. Here's a nice cockle. Look at the colors there. Distorsio. Again, generally find those in the panhandle. Never found one in southern Florida or on the Atlantic side. Pretty big lettered olive. A little spiny jewel box in the back there. Let's see if I can get out this. There's a whopper. Shark's eye. And some coral frags, Imperial Venus. Nice orange flat. Orange lion's paw. All right, let's check out drawer number four. So I see in the back a coral frag and a pretty nice apple marix. A couple more coral frags. Nice flat. I think that one's a bubble air. Piece of a lion's paw. Auger. It's a really nice pear whelk. Pretty cool. Immature fighting conks. 
dark flat. The starfish. You've got turbans, buttons, worm snails. Another really nice sand dollar. Fossilized horsey. Just all kinds of goodies in here. Well, I hope that answers the question. Beach Bum and Dad, what do you do with all those shells? This is just one of the ways that we display them. Also have some cabinets. It's a little scotch bonnet. Pretty cool. And my wife does some crafts once in a while. Also had a a table like this that we we sold. But otherwise, hope you all enjoyed yourselves. Please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget that notification bell so you don't miss out on future beachy content. Thanks again. Y'all take care.